Hello friends, I am Adhinath Giri from Giri Stack Hub Pune. Welcome in a session of Spring Boot Tutorial. Friends, in this session, we will discuss about the introduction of a restful web services. So friends, in this topic, we will discuss about what is the restful web service? Why use the restful web services? And how exchange the data in a restful web services? These are the three important points we want to discuss in this session. So friends, now we will start. What is the restful web service? What is the restful web service? So we can say the meaning of a restful web services is a representation, a state, a transfer. Right? The term originally coined by a Roy Fielding, right? Who is the inventor of who is the inventor of HTTP uh, protocol? Okay, so basically, friends, what is the meaning of a uh, restful web service? So we can say restful web services represents as a representation state transfer. The term originally coined by the Roy Fielding, who is the inventor of uh, HTTP protocol. But the friends, we have a very more important question is. A why use the why use the restful web services or what is the benefit of a restful web services so friends we have a, some benefit of a restful web services the first benefit is a programmer can a specify the response a resource type as per his requirement okay and the second is it help us to exchange the data between a two different technologies or a two different applications these are the two major benefit of restful web services so now friends, we will see the first programmer can specify the response resource type as per his requirement. So what is the exactly meaning of this question? friends? The meaning is, suppose example, uh, if we use the, or if we send the request without using a RESTful web services to this server, then server find the request or read the request and generate the response by default in the form of html right means what happened friends suppose if you not use the restful of services suppose this is your client this is your server okay Suppose this client sent the response to the server without using a RESTful web services. Then server read the request from a client. Read the request from a client. Okay. And then generate the response. And then generate the response in the form of a HTML only. In the form of a HTML. Okay. This is the default response type of a HTML protocol. But friends, suppose consider if if a client need a response, if a client, suppose, consider friends, suppose, consider, suppose, consider, consider, if client need a response other than HTML format, if client need a response other than HTML format, then, then RESTful web services comes in picture. RESTful web services comes in a picture. Okay. Okay, comes in a picture. Clear. Means friends, the major benefit of RESTful web services. Suppose if client send the request with the help of or request 
with the help of a restful web services with the help of a restful web services okay with the help of a restful web services okay then server can specify response as per the requirement of a client as per the requirement of a client means here a programmer can specify a programmer can specify the response type as per his requirement right as per his requirement at client side okay means your response type means your response type may be a, a, a plain text a string or maybe a, a xml format maybe a, a json format maybe a list format etc means we can send the response back to the client as per your requirement in any type of data or in any format this is the major use of restful web services means guys what is the benefit of this but means we can say if you use the restful web services if you use the restful web services okay we can send the any type of a response back to the client back to the client okay but note friends this is very more important part uh, restful web services right build on top of on top of http protocol means what happened friends we can send a request by using http protocol or we can get a response by using http protocol but response type may be a different as per your need this is a customized response type we can send to the client from a server with the help of restful web services it is the major benefit of this this is the first purpose of restful web services uh, we have another benefit is it helps us to exchange the data between the two different technologies or uh, between the two different applications what is the exact meaning of this friend? suppose guys we have a simple example suppose we have a simple example okay suppose we we want to develop the one mobile application this way uh, suppose consider friends we have one mobile we have a requirement we have the requirement We want to develop the mobile application for a school. Yes, we want to develop the mobile application for a school. Okay, but the application connected with a server or a database of an application present on a server. Okay, and we want to fetch, we want to fetch all student records from a database and show in a list, list format in Android application, in Android application. So, suppose this is your requirement, suppose, suppose we have one mobile application, right, we have a requirement, we want to develop the mobile application for a school, right. And our database present on a server, and we want to fetch all student records, right? And show in this format. Means what happened, friends? Suppose this is your mobile application, and suppose we have a database. Uh, we have a database here. In database, we have a one table, and here uh, we store all student details. Uh, like I just wait, friends. It is simple example here. I give here a student ID, a name. A email, a contact, a class. Suppose this is our record one uh, ABC. Suppose I can write ABC at the Gmail one, two, three, four, five. Right? And here we have a, a year, a first year. Second is the MNO. Suppose MNO at the rate. Okay, three, four, five, six, seven. And here is the SC. These are the two students. So we want to fetch a data. Suppose this is your live server. This is your database present on a server, and this is your Android application. This is your Android, or it may be any type of a mobile application, but now here as an example, we are considering Android application. So we want to fetch a data right here, right from a database to the Android application. Then we need to use the one server-side language here. Suppose consider we use the Spring Boot as a server-side language. We use the Spring Boot here for right at a server on server side. 
then what happened? Right, then what happened? Then suppose, so right, suppose consider friends in Spring Boot, okay, we write one service uh, at the rate a rest control. Okay, suppose in Spring Boot we write one service. Okay, we fetch a data, we fetch a data here, we fetch a data in a Spring Boot. And we send as a response, and we send as a response to the Android application. But friends, consider if you not use, if you not use the, if you not use the RESTful web services, then this data sent in the form of HTML content. It is not so. It is not feasible here to Android developer to uh, show the data in a proper way. Show the data in a proper way. Then what happened? So friends, if we use here RESTful web services, if we use here RESTful web services, if, if we use the RESTful web service, right? Then we can send the data. Then we can send the data in a list format or in any other type. In either any other type as for your requirement okay so we here we send this response type in a list format okay to the android application to the android application then here android application can use the json the android application or android developer can use the json and convert this response type right as per his requirement and show any display i mean this is a major part of a response of services we can means we can say friends REST Web Services is help us to provide intercommunication or to provide interoperability between the two different technologies and between the two different applications here. Okay, this is part of the REST Web Services here. Okay, so friends, if you want to be exchange the data, if you want to exchange the data, if you, right, if we if we communicate or if we provide the communication, if we provide the Communication or data sharing, we can say data sharing between a two different between a two different applications using a, a restful web services. Then we need to exchange the data. Then we need to exchange the data in a restful web service. So if you want to exchange the data, if you want to exchange the data in a restful web services. We have some following ways. Some following ways. Example, we can use a JSON or we can use XML also, etc. Means we can send the data from one one tech, one application to other application in the form of a JSON. We can fetch the data in the form of JSON also. I mean, this is a very more important part. So we can say RESTful web services is a very more important nowadays in application development. Okay.